Alright, so I just finished up doing a decent sized job with this machine and in the middle of the job the thing quit running on me. Um, it turns out the muffler rotted out and melted the throttle cable since it was blowing all the exhaust right at it and it covered the whole engine in soot. So I was able to continue doing the job. I just tied the thing full throttle and ignored the muffler but you know, I didn't want to try to fix it on the job because that's always frustrating because you, you never have the right tools with you. The, the, you end up driving to your house a couple times needing something when if you do it at your house you can just fix it. So I got a brand new muffler and a new throttle cable. And luckily I was able to get these on eBay aftermarket and they were affordable. I mean if you call up the dealer for parts for this thing it's usually too expensive so let's start by pressure washing because uh, I don't want to get covered in soot the whole time and and then let's uh, install these new parts and I'll just show you how it is now so I got no throttle control it's just the thing's just full throttle but at least it shuts off. Alright, so for cleaning grease and oil hot water works a lot better than cold water but hot water pressure washers are very expensive i've got this this one um i hook it up i just hook the pressure washer up to my hot water and i use this on-demand water heater this thing works good here i'll turn it on it, it makes endless hot water, so you can pressure wash for hours if you want, and never run out of hot water. Okay, these look the same, but yeah, geez, look at this thing. No wonder that seized up. I hope my uh, throttle motor is still good.
gonna start this thing. Hopefully, this this thing's still good. And I don't know if the cable's adjusted properly, but. Okay, so it seems like it's all fixed. So there's idle. There's low throttle. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm just bringing this inside to change the oil and grease it and fuel it.